Hey everybody, David here, and today I'm going to be talking about The Disaster Artist, uh, the movie starring James Franco playing the infamous Tommy Wiseau, uh, who directed The Room back in uh, 2003, that movie was released. Uh, this is a movie, The Room is a movie that I haven't seen until recently, to tell you the guys the truth. I saw it this week, literally, uh, in preparation for The Room. I have seen a lot of clips uh, whether it was from other reviews of The Room. And uh, I'll, I'll say this, it was a very interesting watch. And uh, it's a movie that I would totally recommend. Watch it with a friend or a couple of friends uh, would be good too. Um, you'll, you'll have a blast watching it, especially if you're drunk or high. Um, <laughs> maybe you don't even need to be either of that because I wasn't and I had a interesting time. Um, so this movie is about the making of The Room, how The Room came to be, and Tommy Wiseau's passion uh, into making this movie. And I, I had a blast. I thought this movie was really funny from beginning to end. Uh, you journey with this character and his friend Greg. Greg is the guy who played Mark in The Room and um, played by Dave Franco in this movie. And right from the bat, you can understand why Dave Franco was cast opposite James Franco. Um, because these two are supposed to be really, really good friends. And like almost like brothers in many ways. And so why not cast your brother to get that brotherly bond uh, from these two characters? Someone who is also a family man like myself. You know, I am uh, – if I were to call out my friends – the two people that would come up on my list all the way on top above anybody else would be my two brothers. My brothers are my brothers. Um, so I would definitely put them on the top of my list of, as people that I would trust the most. And so having those two was, I, I thought, really nicely cast. And I thought, would I be distracted? Because Frank, both Francos have very similar... Um, uh, styles to them but james franco gets so much into this role as tommy wuso there are times that i forgot that he was james franco that i actually thought man that this guy is that tommy wuso i had to like snap out of it and remind myself oh no that's james franco that's right and uh, dave franco i i knew a little bit more that it was dave franco because obviously he's yeah, uh, but uh, even he d disappeared a little bit into his role uh, as well. Uh, but like I said, Franco just like, wow, steals the show um, because he gets Tommy. I mean, yeah, Tommy Wiseau's uh, mannerisms down uh, all the way. So um, there you go. Uh, we see their journey on go moving to Hollywood trying to fulfill their dreams and you're rooting for these two in some sense even though tommy is a little bit on the crazy side uh you you can you're kind of rooting for him to live his dreams as someone who has tried to make his own short films and stuff like that his own little projects i kind of related to both of these characters in some ways uh, I, I think I related more to Greg because I could be that kind of person with not a lot of confidence, uh, even though I feel like I've grown a lot of confidence, especially with these these movie reviews and stuff like that that I do. I feel like I've definitely gained a lot of confidence since I started this um, and other things uh, as well. And uh, so... When you relate to something, I think you're always rooting for the underdog even more. Uh, going through this movie and seeing the drama that they had to ensue to make The Room uh, was also really interesting to me. Because a lot of the times I was think thinking to myself, yeah, you know what, that makes sense. <laughs> so I don't know how much of the movie is like true to the actual, uh, the actual events of making The Room, but to me it felt like it could be like 95 percent true i would say um i i'd like to know how much of it was exaggerated and how much of it was actually true to uh what it actually was so that that, that i did like that they added after the the movie ended they had uh 
comparisons to the actual film and the to their filmmaking the 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 disaster artists filmmaking they did some side by side scenes and it's it's interesting seeing how they they line up some of them were a little off but for the most part they had it pretty much on on take um i also think the movie did a, a really good choice at not making it just a full out comedy there were moments of levity and heart to it you actually do feel for tommy and like i said earlier you want him to succeed and i think when it gets to the ending i think people will be happy with it very very satisfied like because i i don't know how the premiere was when that all happened and thinking about it in someone's shoes like if you were go to go to that premiere and if people started laughing or booing or something at your project you would feel hurt by it but i think there was a nice little message towards the end where they kind of remind you that tommy is a person and unlike other people who you know try to have that passion and sometimes give up this was a man who uh lived his dream went to pursue it and had all this passion to it and because of that passion he has entertained a lot of people whether it was purposely or not i think is irrelevant i think at least he made something that now people have midnight screenings of just to watch this movie and have a blast with it i think that is a really remarkable way to think about it and hopefully people will take that with it that yeah you know what the the room might not be the most well made movie of all time but there is something there that people can take from it i mean i was watching it this week i was laughing i thought it was hilarious <laughs> because of the absurdity of it all and i think it's great because of that so with that being said guys i'm giving this movie a 9 out of 10 i really enjoyed this one had definitely made it into my top 5 of the year um had a had a really great time i thought this was a nice film all around uh i would recommend it for there are people wondering if you need to watch The Room to watch this one. I would I would say watch The Room. I think you would have a greater appreciation for it if you this if you do watch The Room before the Disaster Artist, and uh, it will it will make you like seeing clips might be enough. But I I'm thankful I watched the room before i went to go see this movie so i'll just say that much and guess what you can find this movie easily anywhere so um i guess that's it so guys comment below and tell me if you've seen the room subscribe to my channel like this video and support me i could use all the support and uh, until next time take care